another episode of the Crystal Beauty Show. Today with me I have an amazing Cameroonian gospel singer. Her name is Claudine Twee. So join me in welcoming her. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Thank you for having me. It's an honor having you. Uh, so tell us, who is Claudine? I live in Dallas, Texas. Cameroonian born. I love worship. I love music. I love family, I love church. <laughs> okay, so how did your interest in music start? My interest in music started when I was, I don't know how old I was, but I was very young. Mm -hmm. I always loved music, I had my aunts, they used to play a lot of music when I was little, they played a lot of Winnie Houston and Maria Carey. And then later on, uh, I, when I got a little bit bigger, maybe when I was like class four, class five, I was in YP, singing, going to all the Presbyterian YP things, and uh, always singing. Mm -hmm. So singing has been there all throughout. And then when I was in class six, I met Jesus, and. I gave my life to Jesus, and then since then I was introduced to Darling Serge, Sissy uh, Winers, but in those early days it was mostly Darling Serge. I listened to her over and over for a couple of years, and then eventually uh, Ron Kennelly, Avin Slaughter, and then eventually Don Moen, and all, all of those, I got introduced to their music. and. I have not stopped singing those songs, so I still listen to some of them, even to today, the first Darling Zetch songs that I ever listened to. So that's that's really a summary of how the music has has been going. Okay. Are you currently signed on a label? No. Why not? Do I really need to have a label? I don't know, but... I'm learning the process. If there's a level, of course, I will look at the details and what it entails. Mm -hmm. For now, I'm just an independent artist. And who produces your songs? Uh, the producer is, uh, he's called Ephraim Solaris. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he lives in Fort Worth. How would you describe your music style? My music style, I would say it's it's Christian, it's contemporary worship, yes. All right, awesome. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to be back with more, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Innocent Wami, the founder of VIP Social, and I invite you to tune in constantly to the Crystal Beauty Show. Welcome back, guys. Before the break, we're trying to get to understand Miss Claudine here and how her musical career started. So during the break, we went and we got the cup. Okay, this is a very special cup. Okay. Some people call it the magic cup. Some people like the cup, some people don't like it. So the way it works is there's questions in here. Okay. You're to you you to take them, read it out loud okay. and answer them. Okay. If there's any question you would like to skip, mm -hmm. then you have to do it there. Okay. 
Make sense? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what bad habit you had as a child you currently find funny? Uh, my bad habit is TV. I'm a TV addict and I'm still addicted, but God is helping me. <laughs> Okay. Deal with it. Then, like, can you hold that one that you just read? That way you don't get it confused. Oh, I don't know if I can. Is that the same? Oh, that's not it. Okay, so just go ahead and read that one then. Okay. Because you have to answer three questions. Yeah. If you could change something from your past, what will you change? Uh, I don't think there's anything in my past that I would like to change. Every trial, every challenge, every down moment, God has used to build me up and made me who I am today. So changing it will also change who I am right now and change where I am right now. And I like where I am and I like who I am right now. And that comes from my past. Okay, last one. Question says, if your life was a story, which song would best describe you and why? The song that I would say would best describe me is a song by, by Gateway. And uh, it says, made for worship. Okay. Um. Thank you for playing the game with us. So how will you call the cup? If you need to give it a name. <laughs> I would call it a... I don't know. I call it an embarrassing cup. <laughs> or a shocking cup. Because you don't know what you're finding there. <laughs> Alright, so the gospel music scene, especially recently, is somewhat overcrowded. How do you plan to set yourself apart? from everyone else that is into gospel music? Uh, I would say I'm already set apart because uh, God has set me apart to do worship and I don't need to do it on a CD or anything. I'm, I'm already set apart for, for, for Him and for His glory. It's just a joy if one or two more people can share that. So uh, what sets me apart, it's, it's just worship. So. Anybody who loves worship will find my songs interesting to them. So, okay. And why did you decide to do gospel as opposed to R and B or rap? Uh, I haven't listened to a lot of that, and I, I don't know if I could even do it. I don't know if I know how to do it. I haven't tried it. Who knows? Maybe tomorrow I'll come out with a rap song or a rap gospel. That would be cool. Yes, maybe I'll come out with the R and B. But as we can see, I'm not well endowed in that area. So, <laughs> but if I build the skills, there's no telling. Okay, so basically you choose gospel because that's where your skill set is. No, no, I I didn't choose gospel because that's my skill set. I'm talking about the brand of okay. gospel, like okay. the R and B and rap. Correct. Because there's gospel rap as well. There's yes. gospel R and B. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. And how do you plan to market your songs? I'm learning that, and uh, I'm learning the process of marketing the songs. So, so you don't have a plan? <laughs> <laughs> I have them out on Amazon. They're on okay. iTunes, Spotify. They're everywhere, and anybody can. You know, so if you just go to out. any of those places and put in clothing tweet, yes. we'll be able to find you. Yes, you can Perfect. find me on any platform where music is on online. So. 
All right, so what are you currently working on? Uh, I'm working on a couple of songs. Okay. I'm working on three songs right now. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, not just writing them. Okay. Yeah, I, haven't, I'm, I have one song that I'll probably be recording. I'm, thinking, I'm just trying to decide which song I want to record next because I want to do one song at a time. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. So before we go, um, can you give us an acapella of one of your songs? Well, I think I'm prepared to sing, and you all know in the morning your voice is as bad as I will sing the song that says your praisings. Mm -hmm. This The sun went there to rise without you. The moon and stars went there to shine without you. The oceans when they create waves without you, how can I dare to live without you? The wind when there to blow without you, seasons and times when there to change without you. The earth went there to move without your power. How can I dare to live without you? Your presence is so closer to God. If you want to have a relationship with God, just invite him into your life. He will come and he will make your life whole and he will make a good and a better use of your life than you are doing. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you being on the show today. It's a privilege. Thank you <laughs> for having me. Sure. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. As usual, leave your comments, follow us on Twitter, like our Facebook page, and until next time, this is Crystal saying bye-bye.